Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ballad of a Bloodline. In the last episode, we obtained the raft. And I think a couple heart, maybe a heart piece or two. I don't remember completely. We can go that, that S is just the store, which I don't need anything from. Even though I'm full on money, I don't have anything I need to buy. I don't even need any, even a single bomb right now. Which is kind of nice, but... First, let's go this way. And I almost went to show you something that would have been nice, that would be nice, but... So I've been watching the Dark Flameless playthrough of Lost Style, another quest. It's kind of interesting, the one part about how, um... The... Game has actually no normal water in it. It's that there's invisible flippers from the beginning of the game. And the ladders are water, so it looks like you're cli they're climbing the ladder when it's just really the water, supposedly. Can go left somewhere over here, right here. Need some bombs out. Yeah, it's really too much to say while you're just rafting about. That's over the land where we were before. And bomb walk. And five hearts already. It's fast. So you get when you're watching my playthroughs of games. <laughs> fast action. 42 minutes in and I've already got five hearts. It's one every nine minutes. Well, if I didn't start with three. <laughs> if I didn't start with three, it would be more impressive feat here. I think we can go like right. Yeah, this room's kind of interesting. Just the portal, you'll just we'll go around and around and around it. Until you go left. Find that kind of interesting. And then we go this way. Then we go down here again. Doo -doo -doo. We're back over here. Hooray. Okay, time to actually head to level one. I said, I know I... We're going to beat level 1 tonight. Even if I beat nothing else, I am going to beat level 1. Well, other than the fact that I've already obtained 8 heart heart pieces in my first 42 minutes of the game. That's the more impressive feat. When you think of how many heart pieces it is. Because eight heart, 2 heart containers doesn't look like much. But 8 heart pieces, that's quite a few hidden items. A couple of them weren't too hidden, though. But most of them are. And up here we eventually reach level 1 by going up. These are our first encounter with the Dalfoss item. I an enemy. Hey, that guy actually landed. Usually they take forever to land. I've always wondered if there's anything secret here, but I'm never patient enough to wait for a P-Hat to land. Nope, nothing. There's a red one, which we will be fighting a few of, which... Shoots fireballs that do two hearts of damage. And here we are in level one. Which I think has some awesome music. And here's a blue key. Hey, I just realized something. I haven't even had the mini bug yet. Oh great, now I've said that I probably will. Now here see things in the water. Swimming fast in her little. Please stay out. That means that 90% of the water in this level will hurt us. I say 90 because there's one area where I need to go across the water. Hey look, money. That's fake. It's all fake. Even if you can get out to it. Once you get enough hearts, it's fake. Mirror shield, that's not even how it looks in this game, so that's not even going to fool me. It's a magic upgrade, supposedly, and here's an actual key. <laughs> that's the only real item in this entire area. Kind of did something similar with mine. <laughs> I made an area that's got a bunch of items, but none of them are real, and they're behind this thief so that you can't even get to them. And he says all I can spare is this letter is what it end up, ends up being. I had it as the originally the item he gives you is the 
Oh, I lost my train of thought. And here's the boomerang throwing thing. It's actually an enemy in there. Nope. Darn, you didn't drop anything. Yes. I know that seems kind of odd that I'm randomly throwing the boomerang at one of those. That looks like a mirror with rope again. Say we go up here first. Because it's the first one we come to. And here he lands on the one space that isn't a solid combo. On that entire... The one water spot that isn't even water over there. And here we have a bunch of these guys. Which all, I think, turn into this... A big form. Okay, there we go. Another key. No, it's a spider. It looks like Gamma. Hey, I actually got over here. Now let's head right. I'm gonna try to play this game as fast as I can for at least now. Probably will eventually be a normal, but I'm trying to get to the second overworld at least. Well, yeah, that's about it. It's about how far I want to get fast. And then I'm fine with any speed, because this overworld should be easy and other than the Lost Woods, which I managed to somehow get lost in for three hours the first time. I don't call them the Lost Woods for nothing. There's that guy. Oh, darn, I forgot to do something. I'll walk all the way back around now. Eh, want it. Want. <laughs> I wonder if that's the enemy type of fire, or if it's just a s secret combo. That eye's going nuts following me because I'm going near it so much, it's like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. That one started looking up and to the right. That's odd. Whoa, I almost got hit by him. Who mm -hmm. isn't technically an enemy because he can I can't hit him, but he can hit me. First time I played this I had no idea of what was an enemy and what wasn't. And here we go down here. Four keys already, which is I think how many we need. But there's one more key to get. Before we go down to the go upstairs, you know why we have to wait for that key to go upstairs? Because that's actually what we need to go upstairs. We need one key for this floor. Well, all of the keys that are down here are used here, but we need one key to to get to the boss, which we can't even get to right now because we don't have the boss key or the item we need to get to the boss room. We need the hook shot to get to him. Well, we need the hook shot against him, too. Gee, I wonder what the item of level 1 is that I've just said twice in a row. And here we have our first encounter with one of these. Which are never too difficult. This one's the real one. The other one hurts you. Makes five keys, which I think is how many are on this floor. I don't know. I haven't gotten the compass yet. Did I get the map? I don't even think I got the map. Let's see... Yeah. Oh yeah, you start every level with the map, I just remembered that. I made it... Make a couple minor adjustments to this... Later. After level one. I only really need to make them before I go fight... The boss of... Well, the last normal boss of the entire game. The rest of them are all in the final level. But there's one guy that I need to change something mildly on. Just need to do that before. Here's where this. Here's the thing that tells you to do this if you didn't know. Because see, not everybody's played this before. That is going into level one. Can't play the game without going into level one, unless you're playing at a friend's house and they have a half-beat file of it. And you say, "Hey, can I play for a little bit?" magic I don't need. Here's a heart piece I can't get to in there. See? That one on the portal takes you right here. There's that thing blink wink making 
Do you know what sound effects sound really good for, to me right now to actually use for the lock blocks? The... Sound effects from the Oracle games, and here we get the compass, which is where we're going to end the episode. And there are, in fact, five keys here, so see you next time for more of Level 1!